Hey guys, I was reading an article today where they were talking about how Microsoft just released Outlook as a PWA. This is a progressive web app. And the suggestion is that they're thinking that Microsoft is going to release the other Office applications, Word, Excel, as PWAs. PWA is short for Progressive Web App. Now, a progressive web app basically is a website that uses some more modern HTML5 and JavaScript, of course, to allow websites, web apps to feel and operate more like a thick client, like a traditional application. And you see PWA being used in favor of native mobile in many situations. So instead of building an app in Android using Java or Kotlin, or building an app in Swift for iOS, some companies, more than you think, are looking at web technologies like PWAs instead of doing native mobile. Why? Because it's just a lot less expensive because you just need one code base for all platforms. You need one code base, which means you need developers with one set of skills. So how does this apply to people who are looking to learn programming? How does this apply to people who are in the game? So what does that tell you? That tells you that the web technology stack, something I've been talking about for a while, is going to continue to be dominant and I think over time, more and more dominant. I think the need for example, for native mobile development, meaning writing Android apps in Java or Kotlin or iOS apps in Swift or Objective-C, I think the need for that is going to diminish over time because smartphones are just getting much more powerful and the limitations of writing a mobile app with a PWA is becoming less and less limited. They're just becoming more and more powerful. Uh, there will be exceptions, like perhaps some high-performance games that you want to run on mobile. Yes, those you're going to write native mobile. But for most application development, I think PWA or some hybrid type of application, maybe a Flutter-based uh, impl implementation, phone gap, etc. These, uh, this is where things are going to go. That's why I always tell people if I was going to choose the first stack or set of technologies or the first languages I would learn as a developer, that would be the web stack because it gives you so much flexibility. You can build websites, you can build web apps, you can get it to PWAs, which is mobile development. It's just, it's a whole bunch of opportun opportunities for you there. So there you go. Microsoft is just released Outlook as a PWA and it stands to reason they're gonna do it to Excel and Word. By the way, Google Docs, which is, of course, they have their uh, Google Numbers, I forget what they call it, but they got their spreadsheet and they got their, their Word equivalent. It's a PWA, right? It's a PWA, it's all web-based. So it kind of makes sense. Microsoft is gonna go that route. And in fact, because Microsoft is basically using the Chromium engine, which is the uh, processing engine that is used in Chrome, They've uh, they brought that into the Edge browser that tells you where they are going with all this. So uh, there you go. So if you're wondering what language to learn, as I always say, you can't lose really learning any language, but I strongly suggest just in terms of flexibility and job opportunities, the web stack. All right, that's it for the short little vlog. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.